All right, we are live. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Hallelujah. All praises to the Most High Yah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's good to be alive. Hallelujah. It's good to be whole. It's good to have our strength. It's good to uh, to be here to witness the uh, judgments of the Most High and the salvation and the saving power of the Most High on his right hand and the judgments on his left. Amen. May we be considered even of the sheep of Yah and not the goats on the left hand side. We see the houses in the west coast being set on fire. The heathens uh, abodes and their houses where they dwell is on fire. Look at how they treated the homeless in California. Tell me about Skid Row. Tell me about San Francisco. Tell me about the mass homeless population that they had zero consideration for. And now the rich are seeing their houses burn because they gave no consideration to the poor. Mm -mm -mm. So we give all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High Yah. We're grateful. We're seeing Greece, Athens on fire. Athens, the home of Alexander the Greek, and the people who originally uh, put the abomination of desolation within the temple. All the nations who had a hand in the captivity and the oppression of Israel is now under judgment worldwide at the same time. China, severe flooding. Japan, severe flooding. Austria, Australia, Turkey, I think Saudi Arabia, if I'm not mistaken, even the Middle East is having floods in the sand. So many of the nations around the world are under severe judgment, either fire or water. And then at the same time that we have this, we have former Israelites saying that the scriptures ain't real and we're watching it in 3D. <laughs> I feel like we got 3D glasses on in the, in the theater and we're watching it. We're seeing it in real time and now we're seeing the great falling away take place. Now we're seeing the fulfillment of other prophecies that the reprobate would see all of these things have known y'all and then at the last time we deny him with all the signs and wonders being fulfilled right in front of our eyes. Glory be to the Most High Yah for saving us. And may we remain steadfast and vigilant in this hour. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be thy name, Jehovah God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. In Jehoshua's name we glorify you. Who can save us except for you? Who can be compared unto you? The Aleph and the Tau, the first and the last. The King of Kings. Adonai, Adonim, Elohei, Elohim. Lord of Lords and God of Gods. Exalted Ruler. The first begotten Son of Yehovah Zebaot, of Yehovah of Hosts. We glorify you, your name. All the angels in heaven glorify your name. And all the faithful on earth glorify your name. And the time will soon come where every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess your name. We glorify you for your presence that makes all things possible. It is through your presence that we have life. It is through your presence that we have health, that we have food, shelter, clothing, your word. It is through your divine and holy presence that we ever felt love. For Elohim is love. How could we know love had it not been for you to love us first. If it was up to the adversary, we would only know hate and would only experience evil. But you are so good. Even to the evil, you are good, oh Heavenly Father. You even give an opportunity for us when we were in our sins most high to wash and to repent and to turn and to be cleansed. And we cleave unto you with our whole hearts. We want to be united with you, Yehoshua HaMashiach. We see the truth of your word. Your word is 
true forever. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall never pass away. Not one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. Whosoever addeth unto any of these words, all the plagues written in this book shall be added unto him. And whosoever diminishes aught from this word, their name shall be diminished from the Lamb's book of life. But you said to endure to the end, and we see a falling away right before us, O oh Heavenly Father. May we remain steadfast. May we be, may we be diligent. May we be faithful stewards. That when our Adonai returns to his house, his house is in order. We pray for the Ruach of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, for truth, for, uh, for mercy, for compassion and graciousness. We give you all the praise, honor, and glory in Yehoshua's mighty name. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. 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 Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Hallelujah. Sister Kasida. Hallelujah. Shabbat Shalom, family. We are so glad that you are with us. We are glad to be back. Okay. Um, we've had a couple of Shabbats where we needed to do some rest. Uh, but our praises to the Most High, we are now back again. Hallelujah. Uh, and so we are just grateful to all of you all who have joined us. We just want to give special loves and hugs to our Kaiyashua family. Um, a special, special, special big hug to our group of breaking soul ties. Yes. Family, you all have endured, you have stood strong, you have fought the enemy, Dang. and you have not lost your faith. And we just pray that the two weeks, well less than two weeks actually, Dang. when we come together, we are so excited about the work that the Most High is doing and that you will be broken free and ready for a new beginning. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 So we want to remind you that you may support the ministry during this time. You may go to our website, www.kindyshua.com, select tithes and offering, click the yellow donate button, and there you may give your alms, your tithes, your offering, however the most high leads you. You may also support via cash app at dollar sign Kayashua or through Zelle. Kayashua at gmail.com. And we just want to say thank you to all of those who consistently support the yes. work. We would not be here without you and of the Most High. Hallelujah. And we are grateful that he placed it upon your spirit to support Kayashua. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And we also want to remind you that after the Shabbat, you may visit HebrewIsraelitesScriptures.com, and there you may add to your library any of the books that are missing, and do know that is not the final list of books. Hallelujah. <laughs> the Most High is continuing to work, and new projects and things are in the works, yes, and the Most High gives the okay, the library will continue to increase oh, and praise. grow. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we want to remind you for anyone who may be new and has not visited Hebrew Israelite scriptures, our staple of the ministry is the Hebrew Israelite scriptures, gold edition, 1611, 400 years of slavery scriptures. This is the best selling book in the nation Hallelujah. for Hebrews by Hebrews. Hallelujah. There's a lot of other scriptures out there, several of them, but do know this one is for Hebrews by Hebrews. This one has images for you to know who you are, to share with your children, to give them visual representations that we are the people of the book. And that is so important. Um, you can't, you will not find any other compilation of the 96 books that are contained in this edition. It is unlike any other family. Amen. So if you are new and are not familiar, you will get a chance to see the scriptures on the screen as we go through the lesson. And we pray that that will be an inspiration for you to add this as your main Bible for your reading. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And now, for those of you that are learning Hebrew, we have two 
books that give you Hebrew and English text. The first one is the Book and Secrets of Enoch. As you will see on one side is English, the other side is the Hebrew. So as you are learning your language, you have the choice of two books from the Hebrew Israelite scriptures that you can use to read in Hebrew. Hallelujah. Amen. The second one is the Testament of Yahshua. This contains the four Gospels and the book of Revelations in English and in Hebrew. And this book is the biggest book to dispel the myth that the New Testament was only in Greek. Mm. Nope. Mm -mm. Your whole show was a Hebrew. Yes. I would think he spoke Hebrew. Okay. Maybe you think. Oh, that sounds like it. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. So the Testament of Yahshua, again, you now have two books that have scriptures in English and in Hebrew. So as you're learning the language, you don't have to go looking for something to read in Hebrew. You have it right here in scripture. Yes. Hallelujah. Next, this is, I call this one, Small and Mighty. His word, Hebrew book and concordance. Name book and concordance. This book contains all of the biblical names, male and female, their meanings, their Strong's numbers, written in biblical Hebrew, written in Paleo Hebrew, and their meanings. But it also contains such important information. It gives, um, like for example, Esau had sons and he had tribes. And it tells you the name so that you get to know the meaning of your enemy and his descendants. Mm -hmm. Just as we have our 12 tribes, he had his. And when you understand this, it's like, oh my, now I know who they are. Mm -hmm. You can call them out because we do it all the time. Okay. <laughs> all right. And also the names of the books in the Bible. Yehoshua said he is the volume of the book. It is written of him. Okay. So how do we know that that's true? You get the names of all the books and put them together and they give a testimony. A testament, yes. a testament of Yahshua. Yes, yes. And there's a video on the channel which I did a study with a group okay. and went through those names. And so check so that out. To the, the, the uh, family there. Yes. Uh, Israel now and Brother Benaiah and the family. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Hallelujah. And last but not least, well, not even last, but one of the favorite books of just about everybody who reads okay. the Lost Acts of the Holy Apostles. We, uh, Yehoshua, charges us to walk as he walked. Here you get to read how they actually did it, how they literally gave up everything to follow Yehoshua HaMashiach. And you get to learn about their journeys, their struggles their martyrdoms, um, and just everything the they great did. great signs and wonders they did in every land they went to, the miracles mm -hmm. they did, as a sign of the miracles that's going to happen in these days and times, Hallelujah. soon to come. Yes. And you also will understand why there are certain artifacts and things found in some places like Rome. Mm. For example, because they were sent there. So when it said go to the four corners of the earth, they were sent, they served, and they delivered many people, and they all did it in Yehoshua's name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is a must have. And our first book for the youth of the nation, Joseph, the lost prince of Israel, done for the youth, by the youth. Amen. Hallelujah. We have another one in the works. Hallelujah. So it's so exciting. Um, you know, we have a wonderful in-house artist, Jedi Malek II. Um, and so we're just really, really excited that the children have something that they can read that is according to scripture. There's even precepts in here too. Mm -hmm. So everything is done according to the word. Who wrote the book? Who wrote the book written by Namiria Malek. Amen. So we have our youth, hallelujah, hallelujah. So our youth here, and they are working on that next project, and we are just very excited for everyone to be able to partake in this. Hallelujah. 
and the only, the official, the original Enoch calendar this year, 2021 into 2022. Okay. Hallelujah. And so make sure, family, you have this. We will be coming up on those fall feast days before you know it. Yes, they're around the corner. Yes, because we are now um, in the Gregorian month of August, but we're in the, the month of Av. Month of Av. So know that that this this family this is a must have. So you can put in your leave for work in those times way in advance and know what those days are. It also includes the martyrdom of the apostles so that you can give honor to them on those particular days. It has the mazarot that goes with each month, yes. the meaning, its symbol. There is scripture and representation for every single month, family. So make sure you've got your Enoch calendar. Okay. It's not too late because remember, we are in the Hebrew year, not the Gregorian year. So it's not too late to go ahead and add that to your collection. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You want to introduce the people or wait? Uh, yeah, you can introduce the people. Go ahead. Right, so we're going to introduce those of you who have checked in with us so far. I um, want to start, first I'm going to start with my family in the house. I um, want to say special Shabbat Shalom to my sister Lavatia. She's not with me on camera today, but she is here. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Our sons, Namiria Malek, Jedi Malek II. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Um, Brother Nartagus. And we said our love out to our sister Pamela, who's a little under the weather today. We pray the most high heals you soon. And Ema Samaya, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. All right. Shabbat Shalom to Marcus and Isabel. Shabbat Shalom to Carl and Gladys. Shabbat Shalom, Sister Tracy. Shabbat Shalom, Queen Hadassah Seven. Shabbat Shalom to DeBray Howard. Shabbat Shalom to the Hood family. Shabbat Shalom. We pray you all are doing well out there in California. Amen. May y'all cover all the family out west. Yes. From the from the um, from the fire and the famine. Mm. Amen. Yes. And the drought. Shabbat Shalom to Yah Clay. Shabbat Shalom to Judah's daughter. Shabbat Shalom to Francis Campbell Wilson. Shabbat Shalom to Raphael Simpson. Shabbat Shalom to Ahava Walters. Shabbat Shalom to Ima Eliana. Shabbat Shalom to Yeshai Ben Yosef. Shabbat Shalom to Ryan and Michelle Whitney. Shabbat Shalom to Pedro Eliezer Busman. Shabbat Shalom to Israel's Child. Shabbat Shalom, Sister Natasha. Shabbat Shalom to the Beginners Channel. Uh, by, oh, Ibri Ben Yaakov. Shabbat Shalom, Sister Christelia, to you and your sons. Shabbat Shalom to Brother Yashan Benjamin, your wife and your new baby. Amen. Shabbat Shalom to um, the Powell sisters. Shabbat Shalom to Elijah 16 and 1611. Shabbat Shalom, Sister Brandy. Shabbat Shalom to Clarence and Angela Burns. Shabbat Shalom to Marcia Thomas. Shabbat Shalom to Swapna Gideon. Shabbat Shalom to Trey Savage family. Shabbat Shalom, Brother Kenya. Shabbat Shalom, Ima Gwen. Shabbat Shalom, Sister Keisha. Shabbat Shalom to G. Israel. Shabbat Shalom to Batya Yaki. Shabbat Shalom, uh, Brother Derwick 422. Shabbat Shalom to Nigel Janiker. Shabbat Shalom to James Milton Holmes. Um, Shabbat Shalom, Sister Lisa Carson. And to all of our Kai Yeshua family, near and far, we say Shabbat Shalom to you. And now we are ready for uh, Brother Jedi Malek. Okay. Hallelujah. All right, hallelujah. We are living in the great falling away right now. Right now we're seeing the falling away. So how should we as saints receive this? How should we as saints conduct ourselves and live in these days and times? As we see these things happening, should our faith increase? No, yes. Should it remain the same as last year? No. no. Increase. Or is it going to go backwards like some others? <laughs> Yehoshua HaMashiach prophesied about these things from his witness, Enoch. So, 
Yehoshua HaMashiach inspired Hanok to tell us about what's happening in Israel right, right now. You see certain assemblies or camps falling away and bringing in false doctrines and lying words, lying books to try to compete with the true books that are being revealed. All of this was prophesied. All right? We're going to go in, get into that. But uh, we're in the month of Av right now, the 7th. Okay? The, I mean, Av the 22nd, which is August the 7th. Okay? Av is the month when the temple was destroyed. So we're seeing this falling away take place in this season. Mm -hmm. All right? Keep these things in mind. We have one more Shabbat after that, which would be Av the 29th, and then we come into the month of Elul, which represents the virgin. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, right? We're going to get into that as well. All of this is very significant with birth pains. The new nation and the new people is about to be born. What do we do with the placenta? It falls away. Not everybody in the womb is of the true body. There's a part of the flesh that has to fall away. You're seeing the placenta Israelites <laughs> fall away. And the true children of Israel are being born right now. All right. Let's go to the book in Secrets of Enoch. The first book of Enoch. Chapter 104. Page 167. Beginning at verse 9. These are the words that Yehoshua inspired through the first scribe, Hanuk. Let me know when you're ready. I am ready. All right. And it reads in Hebrew at verse 9. Al Tarshiah, do not be evil. Belavavkem in your hearts. What al tishakru, and do not lie, do not deceive. What al tatu divre yashar, and do not stretch out your hand against the words of the righteous. What al takishu. Divrei HaKodesh Chakash. Let's see. And do not dissemble or deny the words of truth. We're seeing this happening right now in Israel, are we not? The word, do not, do not dissemble or lie or deny the words of the holy Hagado of the great and holy one. Wa'al terumu wa'et elilin, and do not exalt or lift up idols. Baal worshippers, wearing idol medallions, idols tattooed on their forehead. Idols around their necks, idols in their walls hanging. Idols in the congregation. Ki ko shik rekem will call reshatem and all and everyone who, every one of you who lies and all of you who do wickedly, lo litstakwa shall not be righteous. Yehiulakem. There shall no righteousness come to you. Ki im lechata'a gedola. But great sin or great evil. Go ahead. We are in the first book of Enoch, chapter 104, beginning at verse 9. 
Be not godless in your heart, in your hearts, and lie not and pervert not the words of uprightness, mm. nor deny the words of the holy great one, mm. nor make offerings to thy idols. For all thy lying and all thy godlessness are not in righteousness, but in great sin. But great sin. Pay attention to verse 10. All right. Verse 10. What I tell Yadati at her soul, and I know the secret things. Haze, ki hakataim for these sinners. Yashnu shall change. Harbe, why you too? They shall change much and stretch their hands against Divre Hayashar, against the words of righteousness. We davru. Divrei Rasha, and they shall speak words of evil, words of wickedness, words of ungodliness. We shakru, and they shall lie. Waya asu ma'asim gedolim, and they shall do uh, 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 great works of evil. Why ye tivu sefarim, and they shall write books. Al divrahim, and they shall write lying, they shall write books about these lying works. Go ahead. Verse 10. And now I know this secret that sinners will change and pervert many words of the righteous mm. and will speak wicked words and lie and practice great deceit. And write and books. write books concerning their words. Mm, 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 mm. There's no need to show those lying prophets, but we'll show their father. <laughs> if we show their father, we'll show his children. The author of the Nazarene Way, the Gospel of the Twelve has seen. There's another one, right? Do you have that image that you can send me or don't? Okay, right. This is one of those people that Enoch, the first scribe, prophesied about lying prophets in these last days that will write lying words. That we're now seeing Israelites fall away and believe. The Reverend Gideon Jasper, who is uh, demonic, right, and a Catholic who made up false gospels by taking the words of the upright and then mixing it in with Hinduism. And it's now being practiced by wicked, lying Israelites. Kano prophesied this by the Ruach of Truth, who is Yehoshua HaMashiach. Let's read that again. Verse 10, the book of Enoch, chapter 104, verse 10. And now I know this secret, that sinners will change and pervert many words of the righteous. I don't believe y'all wrote that law. It was the devil who gave the law. Y'all forbid. Yehoshua didn't eat fish. That's a lie. That was added to the word. He gave out grapes to a famished people. 5,000 hungry people in the wilderness who came miles to see Yehoshua talk in the wilderness he just gave them grapes to eat, and they went back home, and they were satisfied. <laughs> not a fish sandwich, not fish and bread, but they gave them grapes, and that held them all away. <laughs> Adding to the word, get your name added to the lake of fire. Diminishing, get your name diminished from the last book of life. Read it again, verse 10. And now I know this secret, that sinners will change and pervert many words of the righteous. Who is more righteous than Yehoshua? They will pervert the gospel. And will speak wicked words and lie and practice great deceits. Practice great deceits. Doing bell worship in the congregation. Chakra magic. On the packaging, chakra magic in their books that they bring in the congregation and set it next to the Bible. 
tomato, tomato. They're saying the same thing. A book of magic is saying the same thing as the scriptures. Tomato, tomato is what they say. I worship the ancestors, but you call them angels. No, those are familiar spirits you're worshiping. And we don't worship angels. We worship Yehoah and Yehoshua HaMashiach. Mm -hmm. And write books concerning their words. And write books concerning their words. It's happening in Israel right now. But we're not supposed to believe this? Hypocrisy. Mm -hmm. Verse 11. Akim ka'ashir yiktivu be'emunah. And uh, I will surely, and they will surely write be'emunah et kal divre bil show no take him. And they shall write in their language uh, words. Walo yishnu, walo yak soru. And the righteous or the faithful will write words that shall not change and that shall not lack. Midivre ki em yik tevum. And they shall write them be emuna in faith. They shall faithfully write them. Et kol ashir ha ido ti. Of everything that I have testified. Bereshona alehem. From the beginning. Go ahead. Verse 11. But when they write down truthfully all my words in their languages mm -hmm. and do not change or minish aught from my words, but write them all down truthfully, all that I first testified accord concerning them. Mm -hmm. We got to be faithful with these words of truth. Verse 12. As Yadati sold Ekad ki seferim yadat nu lezada queen. Then I know this a, another secret. Ki sifarim nit uh they shall be given books of the right. The righteous shall be given books. Le chakamin and the wise lihio le simka walishar u katma rava and the wise shall rejoice over these. Words of righteousness or the upright words. Let's see. Verse 12. For I know another secret mm -hmm. that books will be given to the righteous and the wise to become a cause of joy and uprightness and much wisdom. Hallelujah. So the true and the righteous books are being revealed in these last days. The anti Messiah has to imitate what the Messiah does. So he has his false prophets coming with their lives to try to uh, equivocate the hidden words of truth that are being revealed in these last days and times. These new age prophets. Okay? Verse 13. Will I him and books shall be given to them with him Ya'aminu and they shall believe by him in them. With Yesimku Alehim, they shall rejoice in them. While our call has it, our queen, I share Alam do, and all of the, the upright shall learn them or study in them. Et call de Breha Yashar Yavo Al Sekaram, and all the words of the upright shall be a reward to them. Verse 13 And to them shall the books be given, and they shall believe in them and rejoice over them. And then shall all the righteous who have learnt therefrom all the paths of uprightness be recompensed. Hallelujah. Let's get some comments. Okay. Um, Brother Nigel says, Shabbat Shalom family. Shalom. We missed this interaction the past couple of weeks. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're glad to be back. Um, the Beginner's Channel by Ibri Ben Yaakov says, Thanks to the Kai Yeshua family for your work in the his Hebrew is like scriptures. Peace and blessings. Peace and shalom to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Marcia Thomas says, give praises to the most high for your teachings. Hallelujah. Praise y'all. And that's it. We thank Yehoshua to be uh, of good service. Oh, no, we did miss that. Guess what? Y'all, quote 12, Yehuda says, must have been Flintstone grapes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Now, let's take a look at, uh, well, let's go to a scripture. Let's go to 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. Second Thessalonians two. Start at verse one. Okay. The book of Second Second Thessalonians, chapter two, beginning at verse one. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Adonai Yehoshua Hamashiach, and by our gathering together unto him. That ye be not soon shaken in mind. This is a time for us to be strengthened in our mind and in our faith. Because we're going to see some things in these last days and times. So let us not be soon shaken in mind when we see these things happening. Go ahead. Or be troubled neither by ruach nor by word. We shouldn't be troubled by the words that we hear or the spirits of the uh, deceiver around the world. Go ahead. Nor by letter as from us as that the day of Mashiach is at hand. So as the time and the day of Yehoshua starts to draw nigh, you're going to see some things, but don't be troubled by it. He's prophesying to us about these things so that we can prepare and know what time we're living in, thereby we know the word of Yah is true. Verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means. For that day shall not come except, except there come, there come a, a falling, falling away, away first. first. So you see, Israelites falling away. They were never truly with Yehoshua. They were in it for lust of power, lust of money, Lust of pleasure to be seen and known of men. And these things are being revealed in these last days and times. We shouldn't be soon shaken in mind by it. These things have to come before Yehoshua returns. These things were prophesied. So we're seeing entire ministries fall away into darkness. And then many people who jump off the cliff behind them. Thinking that they're going to be... Uh, Reincarnate, come back as a butterfly, a lightning bug, or whatever else. They think they have many lives that they're going to be coming back. And we're at the end of this thing. How foolish and simple does one have to be to think that they're going to be coming back, but we're at the end. There ain't no coming back. We're at the end of this thing. The judgments are here. The nation see it. We're going to take a look at the fire and the water that's happening around the world. You think there's time to come back? Now, if ever there was a time, if there was such a thing, which is not of reincarnation, that time would have passed long ago. Now, we're at the end of the age. This is the time when Yahweh is about to supplant Esau. And the kingdom will be ours. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let no man deceive you. For by, by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of Abaddon, mm -hmm. who opposeth and Abaddon the destroyer. Azazel, the son of Abaddon the destroyer, which is most likely Nimrod resurrected. Go ahead. Verse 4. Let's go to Revelation 9 11. Okay. 
Hikalu chapter 9. Actually, let's start at verse 1. We are in the book of Revelations, Hikalu chapter 9, beginning at verse 1. Mm -hmm. And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth. Mm -hmm. And to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. Right. And he opened What's the bottomless pit? Hell. Hell, Hell is going to open up in the last days. Go ahead. And he opened the bottomless pit, and there arose a smoke out of the pit as the smoke of a great furnace. And the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. And there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth. A great furnace? Did you read that? Let's see that. Um, as, a, as a smoke of a great furnace. So we're seeing fires and smoke all around the world, even in this country right now, as a sign to show that this time is at hand. When hell opens up, you're going to see a great smoke appear. Probably that will be visible around the world. But now he's giving us a shadow of these things, showing us the lands on fire. Let's take some uh, a look at some of these things. All right. Let's look at this. California wildfires. Or should we look at the droughts first? Let's look at this historic drought and climate change video. Burning hotter, faster, yeah, turn it up. and more explosive than ever before. Tonight's wildfires in the Burning hotter, faster, and more explosive than ever before, tonight wildfires in the West are threatening homes and lives. Firefighters say what's unfolding here is more than one disaster feeding off another. Historic drought is the perfect fuel for these epic conditions. Historic droughts in the United States is causing the perfect conditions for these wild wildfires to continue to burn. And these are the largest on record. And last year were the largest on record before that. Every year is a new record for how bad the droughts and the fires are coming in the United States. In California, that produces the bulk of the nation's produce and cattle and meat. You got any comments? Um, Brother Nigel says there are also fires in Greece. Yes. Turkey and Italy. Yes. Italy as well. We're going to show some of these things. Burning hotter, faster, and more explosive than ever before, tonight wildfires in the West are threatening homes and lives. Firefighters say what's unfolding here is more than one disaster feeding off another. Historic drought is the perfect fuel for these epic conditions. Firefighters say what's unfolding here is more than one disaster feeding off another. Historic drought. Historic drought. So you see these lines here, that's where the water used to come all the way out there and beyond. And now the water, the, 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 the bank of the water is right here, where it used to come way out there. How soon do you think that water is going to be replenished? You think next year? What about the year after that? Are we in the seven years of famine? Has that begun? Didn't the scriptures prophesy about these things? Is now the time to deny the word? You see that? That was prophesied. Is the perfect fuel for these epic conditions. But it's climate change creating infernos larger than ever with vortex of smoke powerful enough to spawn their own weather systems. The unimaginable is becoming routine. The unimaginable is becoming routine. Let's go back a little bit. It's creating infernos larger than ever with vortex of smoke. Look at that smoke. Now let's look back at what scripture says. 
And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth, and to him was given a key of the bottomless pit. And he opened the bottomless pit, and there rose a smoke out of the pit. Right now we're seeing smoke because of these fires. This is a warning to the people of what's to come next. And Canada. And Canada. On fire. Yeah, but the, um, line 16 11 just showed that. I think it was, was it Iceland or Greenland? Uh, what's that other cold area? It's in Russia, near Russia. Was on fire. Oh, um, yeah. I forget the name of the place now. And it's always cold there. Siberia? Was it Siberia? Yeah. Cold climate on fire there too. De deserts, I think, was it Turkey? Or I forget which nation, we'll look at them. Was flooded in the desert. All at the same time. Unprecedented. Snow in Africa. Snow in Africa. The unimaginable is becoming routine. We're seeing hot days and heat waves like we've never seen before. And then the winds. Dust is devastating, but what's still at risk is mind boggling. How many of our people live in those houses? They kept us away from houses like that, right? They pressed them out of our range. But they put a lot of our people homeless on the streets, and when you mistreat the homeless, then y'all eventually brings judgment against you for these things. These fires are moving with such speed that it's exceeding all the models that we've used for decades when trying to gauge fire spread. We hear it all the time from uh, citizens, and I didn't think the fire was going to get here that quickly. While extreme conditions aren't new, the intensity and duration is. This year, Texas was buried under historic snow and ice. Tropical storms and hurricanes are forming earlier in the season. Catastrophic floods are becoming routine. And as cool climates record record heat, 94% of the West is in drought with 60. 94% of the West is in drought. What's that going to do to the price of food? Be not soon shaken in mind. Prepare yourselves. These things have to happen before Yodra comes back. 94% of the West is in drought. The West produces most of the cattle. So if there's drought, that means there's not enough crops growing to feed the cattle. That means there's starving cattle. We seen a report earlier this week that as much as 70% of some farmers, I mean rangers, uh, have lost their cattle. Seventy percent of their cows died from starvation because there's not enough food to feed them. And then the produce, the California uh, California uh, growers, they produce a lot of the fruits and the nuts, almond milk. If the cattle dies, what about milk? What about cheese? What about when you want a slice of pizza? What about when you want macaroni and cheese? What about when you want cheesecake? These things are happening right now. Are we to deny these things and act like they don't exist and deny the word from being true? Or do we get ourselves ready? Do we look up because our salvation draws near? Do we get our households in order? Do we start fasting? Do we start praying? Do we serve? Do we speak the truth? Do we show love? Yes. Do we warn the blind to wake up? Or do we fall away and run? Do we say, what can I get out of this life for myself right now? Knowing that there's not much longer for this world to continue like this. Do I say, I'm going to get mine now with whatever left time this United States has? Do I say, hey, I want to make as much money as I can make? I want to get rich? What good is getting rich, focusing on getting rich, when there won't even be nothing to buy? How much good does gold and silver do if there is a famine and you can't even buy? All your money can't even purchase food if y'all doesn't cause any food to grow? 
Let's get some comments. Brother Nigel says, at the same time, flooding is also increasing, um, increasingly in large tracts of farmland to waste. Yes. Related to the ten plagues mentioned in the apocalypse of Abraham. Mm. Mm. Um, so the Isabel says, California's drought is so bad, we don't remember the last time it rained. Um, the Trey Savage family says that there was a fire in the Gulf of Mexico. I'm not sure yeah. when. Wow. Oh, yeah. 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 It's like, how are you going to put the fire out if it's in the water? It, it, it's in the it's water. It's in the water. It's in the water. So they were trying to put it out with water. But it's it's already right in the water. It was big. It was huge. Is that oil leak or something? Yes. 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 Um, Sister Christelia says um, they're also revealing more of the alien and UFO, which I believe is to bring forth of the Nimrod spirit. Absolutely. And to get people to stop looking for Yehoshua and to look for something else. Anti-Messianic spirit at its core. Yehoshua said, look up when we see these times come. So now they're going to have them looking up to the Nephilim. Sister Isabel says, yes, our grocery bill is extreme. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, Lot of 1611 says, in California, some of the farmers have been put under water restrictions yes. and had to give up some of their produce crops. Yes. Okay. Sister, Sister Itiashi says, this here is a great lesson already. Shabbat Shalom, family. Praise you Hallelujah. Hashem and Sister Bridget, she says, the river here is mostly dirt and grass is growing. The river is mostly dirt and grass is growing yes. in the river. Yes. Where the river used to be. Is this the time to give up on y'all now and to forsake? Is this the time to be like Lot's wife? To turn back when Sodom and Gomorrah is on fire? What are you running back to, Lot's wife? What are you turning back to? Your house is gone. So we have to pay attention to these lessons because we're seeing a falling away happen. So people are forsaken and abandoning their faith when their faith should have prepared them for these times and these seasons. 4% in the critical category of extreme drought. The long-term impacts of climate change are largely unknown, and so we do expect increased heat and... And instead of saying judgment, what do they say? And climate change. Climate change. There ain't enough of us not recycling plastic last year to cause all of these fires <laughs> and floods that happen around the world. Because I mix plastic in my regular garbage. <laughs> <laughs> This is happening. Really? Because I put a glass container in the plastic bin. This is what happens. Right. So within one year from us just driving our cars and the, the, uh, the, the, the carbon monoxide from one year has caused this severe worldwide disaster from last year it wasn't this severe. It's just fires maybe out west, but not around the world. So from one year, from a year ago, from us driving cars, which have lower emissions now, now that one year has brought all about this, and us missing, mixing uh, plastic and glass. <laughs> Come on now. Judgments. Increased incidence of fire. But, but if you say judgment, what does that imply? There's a law. That there is an Elohim. And they are Elohim deniers. What's important is to monitor these changes so that we can be prepared for future impacts. Scientists say greenhouse gases must be reduced as a start to the solution. It would be very difficult to go back in time and, and return. That has caused a flood in the desert. <laughs> greenhouse gas levels to the level that they were 50 years ago. I do think it's important to not lose hope to consider that we still have options. Tonight is scorching fires burn the west. Toxic smoke drifts thousands of miles and chokes the east. 
The sun tainted red in its soupy haze, our planet's beauty and its peril in one. Miguel, as we push into summer. A red sun, indicative of the wrath of the Most High. But that would have to indicate that there is a Most High and they hate him. They are deniers of God. Wildfires and their explosive growth are the big concern now. Yeah, Kate, this hillside is what so much of the West looks like. If a fire ripped through here, it would destroy this area in a matter of minutes. Last year, there were more than 22 major disasters connected to climate change and weather. The price tag, more than $121 billion. So because they didn't want to pay the children of Israel their reparations, they're going to pay it a different way. That's what's happening. But they're too foolish to even perceive these things. They don't understand that the more they afflict us as a nation, the more Yah's afflicting their nation. They don't perceive these things. That takes spiritual discernment. You reap what you sow. All right. Let's take a look around the world. This is in Tokyo right now. The Olympics are in Tokyo right now. Is this the time to deny the power of the Most High and say he doesn't exist and his word is a lie? Who are you going to call on when that comes here? You going to call on yourself or you, God? Am I going to call on the gods and the earth? Is that going to save me from this? At least more than a Is me taking herbs going to save me from that? <laughs> when I see a tornado and a hurricane coming my way, I'm going to just say, I'm going to pop these herbs and I'm going to get superhuman strength. And I'm going to ground myself, my feet, I'm going to make my toes grab into the concrete. And I will be unmovable because I take herbs. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> There's no salvation through herbs. Herbs are for the healing of the people, not for the salvation of the people. 100 people were injured in the aftermath of Tropical Storm Nepertak, which caused flooding and chaos, leaving thousands of people stranded. High waves caused by Tropical Storm Nepertak are seen at the fishing port in Aki, Kochi Prefecture in Japan. A massive tropical storm hit western Japan, flooding the region's main international airport, disrupting land and air traffic, and leaving thousands of people stranded. Local media reports... So as California's on fire, where else in, New in the United States had the, the flood? Which areas had the flood? I can't even remember now. So much to keep track of. New York had a bad flood, maybe about two weeks ago. New York City, the subways was all filled with, flooded with water. Pennsylvania. I'm trying to remember all the other areas. So this is all happening at the same time. This is happening now in Tokyo. All right. This is happening in Peru. Earthquake. All at the same time, around the world. Look at that. That's right, from the tsunamis. Now they're by the sh by a shore that could cause a tsunami. Mudslides were affected by a strong earthquake in Peru. Harp writes about this. 
It is known that the impact of the verses fell on the northwest of the country. The earthquake happened on July 30th at 12.10 at a depth of 36 kilometers near the city of Sulian. The That's Peru. Let's look at Russia. This is all at the same time, family. Is now the time to abandon our Elohim? Is now the time to abandon our faith and fall away? I'll tell you, you better start separating that glass from that plastic next time you throw off some trash. <laughs> I get the feeling, I don't know. <laughs> On Monday, August 2nd, a hurricane wind with a thunderstorm hit the Tour region. As a result of the... This is Spain. Simultaneously around the world. All the nations that had a hand in putting us in captivity. They didn't want to pay us, so they're going to have to pay another way. Australia. Hail. They're going to pay one way or the other. Arizona. Flooding in Arizona. Here in the United States, fire and water at the same time in the West. Arizona have been hit by flash floods today on July 30th. Huge streams of water hit the city of Miami. More than 100 homes had already been damaged when officials announced extreme flooding in the area. Turkey. Turkey looked like California. Good screams. Brazil is covered in snow. Brazil. A snowman in Brazil. We can go on and on. This is Italy.
G. Israel says, in Australia, the mice plague is still going on. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, Ibri Ben Yaakov says, notice that most of these places where it's flooding, not much rain is falling. Mm -hmm. Maybe Yah is opening up the mouths of the abyss on these nations. Who knows? So he's shaking up the world. These things are going to happen during the birth pains of the earth. Yeah, those, the, 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 the bottom is going to open up and the top is going to open up, just as it was in the days of Noah. Matthew 24. Matthew 24, let's start at verse 33. The book of Matthew, Matit Yahu, chapter 24, beginning at verse 33. So likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the doors. Mm. Verily, I say unto you, this gener generation shall Which not generation? pass, this generation mm. shall not pass, Till all these things be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away. But my words shall not pass Never away. pass away. So how are we having Israelites talking about the words of God not true when we're seeing it fulfilled in this generation? But of that day and hour. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. But as the days of Noah were, we're living in the days like Noah. Look at the floods. Look at the destruction. Look at the evil of the hearts of men. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of son of the son of man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah came entered into the ark and knew not this guy was just going about his business living life as he normally does he's riding his scooter do you think that they knew the flood was coming do you think the people who are planning the wedding on this day stopped do you think they knew what was getting ready to happen he was getting ready to ride his scooter down the street and the flood came that fast. There's probably a person in that car. Word of Yah proves the, the false prophets to be liars. Look at everything fulfilling right before our eyes in this generation, and they'll tell us that the word of Yah is not real. Lying scribes wrote the scriptures. Um, Yeshai Ben Yosef just posted 17 killed in Bangladesh at a wedding party by lightning. It was two days ago. I just looked it up. Wow. 17. Think they had one. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. And knew not until the flood came and took them all you see these away. See, people being taken away, that's the same thing as the people falling away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Then two, then shall two be in the field, the one shall be taken and the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill, the one shall be taken and the other left. 
Watch. Watch. Therefore, for ye know not what hour your Adon doth come. But know this, that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Mm. Therefore, be ye also ready. Be ready. For in such an hour as ye think not the Son of Man cometh, who then is a faithful and wise servant, whom his adult hath made ruler over his household to give them meat in due season? Meat in this season represents spiritual food. So we have unfaithful stu uh, stewards or servants who are withholding the meat from their congregations, telling them the meat, meat. Does it say vegetables? <laughs> to give them meat in due season. Go ahead. Blessed is that servant whom his adone when he cometh shall find so doing. So there's some people who are taking away the spiritual food away from the saints. And then there's some who are still continuing to feed the saints spiritually. Go ahead. <coughs> Verily I say unto you that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. But, and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, my adult delay of his coming, and shall begin to smite now his fellow servants. Now smiting the servants, beating them down spiritually, taking food away from them to feed yourself. Go ahead. And to eat and drink with the drunken. And now you're making friends with the world and with the, the heathen. And you're taking the food and the meat that was prepared for the house of Yah and the saints of Yah. And you're wasting it with harlots and whoremongering, fornication, and things of worldliness. Go ahead. The adult of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him. Because they still claim to believe in Yehoshua, right? His words just aren't true. But yeah, we still believe in Yeshua HaMashiach. And then they say Yahoo, right? They still believe in him. not Just not his words. Or his works, yeah. But they still believe. The adult of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him. You, it's going well. You, you getting ahead. You doing well. You making a filthy lucre. So you think that you are blessed. And in an hour that he is not aware of and shall cut him asunder and appoint him his portion with, with the, who? The hypocrites. The hypocrites because they, they are the greatest hypocrites. They're worse hypocrites than, than, than the Catholic Church. They were worse hypocrites than any other spiritual quote-unquote religious group I can think of. Who is worse than a Hebrew Israelite waking up to find out the truth of who Yah is, the Son is, and who his biblical identity is just to turn around and throw it all away. At the end, not even at the beginning when you first found out, at the end. This is the great falling away. Let's go to Luke chapter 8. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Don't cry it in. Luke 8. Luke 8. Let's start at verse 4. The book of Luke, chapter 8, beginning at verse 4. And when much people were gathered together and were come to him out of every city, he spake by a parable. A sower went out to sow his seed, and as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, mm -hmm. and it was trodden down. Some. And, and it was trodden down. Fell. Go ahead. And the fowls of the air devoured it. And some fell upon a rock. And as soon as it was sprung up, it withered away because it lacked moisture. And some fell among thorns. And the thorns sprang up with it and choked it. 
and other fell on good ground and sprang up and bare fruit a hundredfold. And when he had said these things, he cried, He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. Amen. And his disciples asked him, saying, What might this parable be? And he said, Unto you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of Elohim, uh -huh. but to others in parables. Hear ye in thee, but understand not, and see ye in thee, but perceive not. Now the parable is this. The seed is the word of Elohim. The word of Elohim. Men have to protect their seed. For in that is the word of Elohim too. Go ahead. Verse 12. Those by the wayside are they that hear. Then cometh the devil and taketh away the word out of their hearts. The babes. Being deceived by these lying hypocrites. Mm -hmm. Lest they should believe and be saved. Mm -hmm. They on the rock are they which when they hear receive the word with joy. The lying prophets themselves. And these have no roots. Which for which a while believe and in time of temptation do what? Fall they away. They fall away. We're living in a falling away. In a time of temptation, and they, they, they give up the ghost. They throw their hands up in the air because they're being tried. When you're supposed to dig deeper in your faith, they cut tail and, and run. The prosperity of fools shall slay them. So they get a little bit of money in their pocket, and that's a temptation for them. They turn away from Yah. Now it's the gods and the earths and the ancestors that give you life. Tomato, tomato. Serving Yehoshua, New Age doctrine. Oh, yeah, it's the same thing. Tomato, tomato. They on the rock are they which... When they hear, receive the word with joy. I'm an Israelite. And these have no root. They start teaching when they're not qualified to teach yet. They're not rooted, yet they want to teach. Which for a while believe. For a little bit. And in the time of temptation, fall away. Fall away. away. We're living in a falling away right now. You're seeing entire ministries fall away in Israel. And you're seeing the babes fall by the wayside and then come of the devil and take the word out of their hearts lest they should believe and be saved. Let's get some comments. Israel's child says this ain't time to fall away but to repent and follow Yah wholeheartedly. Amen. Ibri Ben Yaakov says, Yah is destroying all the nations that facilitate America. Amen. Yoel Yah Yisrael says, Now they are saying in Babylon, take the jab or you can't work, buy, or sell. Shadow of what's to come. Shadow of the mark of the beast. Mm -hmm. Nigel says, um, The funny thing about news is that news is not on mainstream. Only news about having to take the vaccine and strategies to get you vaccinated. Right. That's what they're flooding the airways with. When all the stuff that's happening around the world, they're not even talking about it. Light of 1611 asked if you could show the mouse pestilence in Australia if you can. Okay. Um, let's see. Oops. Sister Cristelia posted Jeremiah 3 and 15. And I will Just give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Hallelujah. The true pastors are supposed to be feeding the people right now. Not taking the food away and telling them the food is no good. While they eat and drink. Themselves, right? Mm -hmm. Sister Etiyah, she says, hallelujah. 
This is confirmation of what's in my heart right now. Mm. All right. Let's look at a few more of this, and then we're going to look at the mouse play. We show Italy. Let's show China. We show Japan. This is China. Can I sprinkle herbs into that wind and stop that storm, or do I got to call on y'all and ask them to cover us? I'm going to take a handful of herbs and blow it into the sky, and that's going to save me? What does the world do while this is going on? They go further into reprobation, and now they're trying to force everyone to take this vaccine, which is going to bring further judgment and calamity upon this world. The devil has but a short time left. The building, these are the containers collapsing. These are really heavy. And there's container shortages around the world right now. So trade between nations is drying up. China produces the vast majority of what the world consumes. They send their containers here to countries like the United States. The United States produces produce and other things, and then they fill those same empty containers and send them back to China. Now, because the United States is not producing anything anymore because of famine, drought, fire, and flooding, now the containers are just sitting idle and they're not being sent backwards. So now the companies that are still capable of manufacturing cannot get their goods to the different nations because there's not enough containers. And the containers that are available, the price is going up as much as five times more than they would normally cost. This is happening right now. Who's talking about it? Are the Egyptologists talking about this? Yeah. Are these New Age Israelites even talking about this? Is Hinduism going to save us? Hinduism is going to save us? Or does this, is Hinduism even talking about this? Or does Scripture talk about these things? The four horsemen in Revelation. Yeah. Are non messianic Israelites talking about this? Who deny the words of Yehoshua, and Yehoshua's words are ringing true in 3D every day. The combined effects of Typhoon NFA and an area of high pressure in the Pacific have already generated intense rain that caused last week's deadly floods in Hanna, which affected more than 11... The combined effects of Typhoon NFA and an area of high pressure in the Pacific have already generated intense rain that caused last week's deadly floods in Hanna, which affected more than 11.4 million people. All flights to and from major cities including Shanghai, Hangzhou and Ningbo were suspended, as well as some train services. Shanghai has all Belgium. That's not all. Costa Rica. have fires and Turkey also has flooding.
Turkey. Ukraine, Poland, Iran. 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 When you gotta go, you gotta go, right? You gotta get home. You gotta get home. He's probably not gonna make it. <laughs> All it takes is one stone or one stick that you can't see under the water. Let's say it is a stick that's stuck in the mud. And you're being dragged by that current. And you are headed straight to that that pole or that stick, you're going to be impaled. Yeah. Can't turn around. A rock, right. a car, a sharp object. When that current smashed you into it, it could just get your leg. When your leg is got, you can't swim. It could just knock the wind out of you. And knock the wind out of you, you're going to drown. This is Iran. An unusual area of low pressure brought floods to parts of Iran and there's more rain in the forecast for parts of the Middle East. Hmm. Torrential rain has triggered flooding in 10 provinces across the country. Flooding Six in the Middle East. Iranians were killed on Sunday by heavy rains and floods that hit several provinces of the country, according to local northwestern, central, and southeastern provinces of the country. News quarterly, Saddam Line reported. Balakor said rescue teams are struggling to find two people missing after the floods. What's the probability, math mathematically, of all of these things happening at one time around the world? Huge. Big gap, like. But the scripture tells us that the world will go through these birth pains. This is the mice, the mice plague in Australia. To be living every day mice just makes you feel dirty. Australia was extremely evil to the indigenous people there. The melanated peoples there. There's just no escape. Oh, that rainy. This one will be probably the worst mass plague I've ever they slaughtered so many of the native people in Australia that lived on. They are extremely racist. They've beaten them and ruined them. Everywhere they can go, they'll go. A lot of households have lost bridges and microwaves and all that, where they've got in and shoot wire and burn them out. Same with cars, tractors. After a drought, and here come the mice. We've come out of the drought, and because things have suddenly got so good so quickly, you know, rapid breeders like mice are really able to capitalise on that situation. And it's going to take a while for the rest of the ecosystem to catch up and balance it out. You can only imagine what the plagues were like in Egypt. Now you can see these things with your own eye and kind of get in just a glimpse of what these plagues could have looked like with the frogs or with the flies or with the locusts. Oh, yeah, most areas will only get one crop a year. And so to have a plague hit you in what would otherwise be a good year, it can be a real setback. We're back to where we were in the drought and lost a lot of money. But the Christian said, and the Christian apologetic said that the 400 years was a lie. 
Look at all that is unfolding on the earth after that 400 years. Should we now deny the faith? Should we now pretend like these things are not happening even after the 400 years? He said he would bring judgment on the nations that brought his people into captivity. Are we not witnessing it right now? And they would tell us that the word is not true and that we are not the people of the children of Israel. Let's get some comments. Um, Adolf Dupree says, um, he was talking about the containers, says, it's truth, I see in Port Savannah, Georgia, is mm. a mountain of containers, looks like a city. Mm. And Nigel says, also, China is under a lockdown and few containers are moving, leading to product and commodity shortages across yes. the world. That's right. Cars can't manufacture anymore because they can't get the microchips that they need for the new cars. So the auto manufacturers are feeling it. Rubber shortages are at record highs. So rubber used for shoes and for tires are starting to diminish. You're gonna see a, a shortage of shoes and tires in the coming future. Prepare yourselves. Um, Sister Brandy says, someone better tell Yah to stop the Asian eight because he's tearing up their countries, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> um, Trey Savage family says, everything I have read is coming to pass, so I give all glory to Yah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sister Christelia says, I had a co-worker tell me last week that if I don't get the vaccine, I won't have a job soon. I just shrugged and said, you don't know the y'all I serve. Amen. Um, Logic 1611, he says, don't forget the grasshopper slash locust swarm in the Montana area last month. Well, I didn't know about that one. Told Let's look at this spiritual falling away. Now we see the judgments on the earth. Let's look at spiritually what's going on. Let's go to the lost acts of the holy apostles. We're going to go to the acts of Kepha. The acts of Kepha. The lost acts of the holy apostles. We're going to see what Satan's plan was in the last days to cause the falling away. Knowing he had but a short time. The lost act of the holy apostles, the acts of Kepha, the acts of Peter, chapter 33. All right, we are in the lost acts of the holy apostles. This is what's going on in Israel right now. Do a little bit of it. Chapter 33, Satan battles against Peter. Now at that time, my master Kepha departed from this place to the city where unto Philippos had gone. And it was a well-known city, and the name thereof was Cartagon. And Satan appeared unto him on the road, and strove diligently to do battle with him. Satan tried to kill Peter. Then Yehoshua said, I have seen Satan try to sift you like wheat, but I have prayed that your strength would not fail. And when you turn back, strengthen your brothers. brothers. He strengthened the rest of the apostles. To contend against the devil. Go ahead. But my master Kepha blew in his face and spat upon him. And Satan fled from before him, crying out, saying, O son of the virgin, why hast thou taken away from me the position which thou didst give me? Behold, my kingdom is ruined. My kingdom is ruined. We're coming into a second time where Satan's kingdom is being destroyed. Go ahead. And my sovereignty, that is to say, the worship of idols, is destroyed. And the idols, which were the habitations of myself and of my host, have perished. This is happening again because the children of Israel are waking up. We're turning away from idolatry. We're not keeping Christmas anymore. We're not celebrating Thanksgiving and eating the sacrifices of idols. We're not keeping Thanksgiving. Halloween. July 4th. All the practice of idols that our people used to do, we're not doing no more. And we're preaching against it. 
verse 7. Worship is now paid unto thee alone, and I have no pretext against thy flock. All our people now have heard and know that they are Israelites. They may not be walking in it, but they know in their hearts that we are the children of Israel. That's undeniable. But I will corrupt all those who Kepha and his companions, the apostles, teach through the love of gold and silver. That's what happened to Malachi. That's what happened to Yaqi. He said what he was going to do. He's going to come into the awakening and pervert the doctrine because of a love of money. The love of money is the root of all evil. Is money the is money itself the root of all evil or the love of it? The love of it. People have to get it right. Let's go. But and by will, reason, go ahead. And but I will corrupt all those who came for in his companions, the apostles, teach through the love of gold and silver. There's so many ministries that I have seen in this walk corrupt the truth because of the love of money. I can name so many of them, but it's not about naming the names. It's about discerning the spirit behind it. And by reason of that desire, they shall return unto me. And you see people turn right back to the devil right now in Israel because of the money they receive. Just put bail on your products and then watch all the money you'll make. Appeal to the conscious community and the Hebrew community and see how successful you will be in business. Satan said he would do these things. Go ahead. And I will make the worship of idols to reign again. We see Baal and Chakra right in the midst of Israel. Packaged with the name of Yah on it. On his neck. On his forehead. Go ahead. And I will also make him that attaineth unto the head of the priesthood. So the head of the congregation over there. Among them to turn aside. Turns aside from the priesthood. From the priesthood. The scripture don't even matter no more. It's not real. Some twisted scripture. Jeremiah says the scribes of the pen is in vain. And he says Jeremiah is talking about Moses. Jeremiah is talking about the apostles. Jeremiah is talking about Paul. And? And to take gifts and bribes. You knew your former elder was lying with the radio show. And you sat next to him because you saw the money you were getting. He was getting. And you wanted some of it. So you turned your head away from all the evil he would do and all the evil he would say. And now that we hear the Most High have him possibly under judgment. And we don't gloat in any of these things. We're just saying it as we're discerning it. He witnessed this wicked elder with the radio show do great evil and co-signed it because he was making a lot of money doing it. Then the same person got arrested and sent to jail and he thought that wicked elder was going to bail him out and give him money. And he did. He left him sitting there. And then lied to the people again to raise more money. And that's when his heart turned even more after the filthy Luca when he saw what his elder was getting by wickedness. So then when his own student turns to wickedness, he turns a blind eye to that. As his own student turns to Hinduism and sees the money he's getting out of it, he co-signs that. Tell me that this word is a lie. Or are we not seeing it right now? To take gifts and bribes so that there shall not be the reward of a priest unto any one of them. You receive your reward. Congratulations. You received it now. And y'all had so much more he would have had in store for you, but you've gotten your gifts now. 
and I will make the priests to transgress the Torah of Elohim, mm. and I will make them to be remote from his commandments. Tell me this ain't happening right now. Lost Acts of the Holy Apostles, a true missing book, inspired of Yah with Israelite history behind it. This is in Ethiopia right now. Never in Greek. In Amharic. In uh, uh, Shemitic languages. That our Israelite people preserved. Written by our people. Not by the heathen. Not by these people. Precept upon precept lines up perfectly with the Old and the New Testament and the missing books by Shem Yehoshua HaMashiach. So when these missing books were revealed to Israel out of the spirit of envy, then all of a sudden they have to have missing books too. But their missing books were not inspired of Yah. But it was because it was out of envy for the work that was being done. There's so much we could get into. There's so much we can get into. Go ahead. Verse 12. Hearken, moreover, and I will tell thee, O Kepha, I will cause schisms. What? Schisms. I will cause us. schisms. There's always a new doctrine by unqualified teachers. This is the work of Satan, and now you understand how the fall away happens. And unqualified teachers pop up like popcorn in Israel. With gimmicks. Some guy got gimmicks on his arms with spikes all over it. Clowns. <laughs> I ain't got to say no names. Unqualified. That's your gimmick. I'm going to do with spikes on, and now I'm a Bible teacher because I sit in darkness with spikes on my arms. Looking like the devil. And that's a lot of these people's teachers. And they're going to get what they're going to get for supporting the unqualified and making babes elders and diminishing true elders. Diminishing the wisdom of true elders and uplifting babes. Isaiah 3. They that lead thee cause thee to err. Let's go to it. We're going to come right back here. Yeshayahu, Isaiah, chapter 3. Famine is on the way. Isaiah 3, verse 1. The book of Isaiah, chapter 3, beginning at verse 1. For behold, Adonai, Yehovah of hosts, doth take away from Jerusalem and from Yehuda the stay and the staff. Mm. And the whole stay of bread. Famine. And the whole stay of water. Drought. Go ahead. The mighty man and the man of war, the judge and the prophet, the prudent and the ancient, mm -hmm. the captain of 50 and the honorable man and the counselor and the cunning artificer. And the eloquent order. True leaders will be replaced with, go ahead, verse 4. And I will give children. Babes. To be their princes. They don't know anything. And people been in the truth two years, six months, and they got a channel and they teaching the people. And babes. Shall rule over them. These are your leaders right now in Israel. These are your Israelite content creators. Right now, who did they ever sit under to learn? Who are their teachers? Who can vouch for them? Go ahead. And the people shall be oppressed. Mm -hmm. 
everyone by another, mm -hmm. and everyone by his neighbor. It's happening in Israel right now. The child shall behave himself proudly against the angel. So now you got babes coming to truth six months, and they arguing with people that have been in the truth for decades trying to tell them their doctrine is wrong. And they try to put themselves on equal standing as people who have history in Israel. You don't even know your olive bet, and you're trying to tell people what the name of Yah is and is not, and you can't read a lick. Go ahead. And the base against the honor. What does the base mean? The least. The least. The worst. You elevate the worst to become your elders, like that radio show host guy. You put the worst of the people and make them your elders. The least and the lowest, the scoundrels of the people, you call them elders. And you support hypocrites. And people, because they don't have Hebrew culture, they bring street culture into the truth. They bring the streets into that which is holy. When that which is holy is supposed to go out into the streets and purify it. You profane the truth with the ways of the world. Instead of elevating the truth with the true word of Yah, with Hebraic thought. You were against Hebraic thought. You hated it until you thought you could prosper and benefit off of it. The base, the least of the people is held up in high esteem. Just check your Israelite social media. Let's get some comments. Iaconic, 1983, posted Luke. One person puts an Indian feather on his head. Says he's an Indian. That's Leroy from up the block. Nigga, take that Indian feather off your head and stop fronting. You ain't no Indian. You could put Pocahontas braids as a man on both sides of your face and an Indian feather on your head. And now you are Native American. Wow. It bring in damnable heresy, bring in the Book of Mormon, a curse. Where you come from? Who's your teacher? Another guy, a grease on with spikes all over, sits in dark in the blackness. And you telling the Israelites what marriage is and what is not. What family is and what all of these things. You don't even know. Nothing. Who are you? Where do you come from? <laughs> I mean, I could go on. Who are these? Who taught these people? Verse 5. Verse 5. And the people shall be oppressed, everyone by another, and everyone by his neighbor. Mm -hmm. The child shall behave himself proudly against mm -hmm. the ancients, and the base against the honorable. Uh -huh. When a man shall take hold of his brother of the house of his father, saying, Thou hast clothing, be thou our ruler, and let this ruin be under thy hand. So, all I got to do is dress in a long garment. I don't have to have no knowledge. All I got to do is have a certain garment on and people will be willing to make me the head of a congregation. How many times have we seen that? You got a gimmick. You got a certain style of clothing on. Oh, that brother looks nice. You should lead us, brother. <laughs> you see that brother's fringes? 
Oh man, his bed. The bed matched the fringes. You seen that? Oh my. Yo, can you be our chief? Be our high priest. Verse 7. In that day shall he swear, saying, I will not be a healer. For in my house is neither bread nor clothing. Make me not a ruler of He can't people. lead either. For Yerushalayim is ruined. For Yerushalayim is ruined and Yehuda is fallen. Why? Because their tongue and their doings are against Yahweh. Why? To provoke the eyes Why? of the Lord. Read it again. For because your, for your oh because their tongue, their tongue and their doings and their doing are against Yahweh to provoke the eyes of his glory. These are the elder babes in Israel. The elder babes. Been in the truth six weeks. Got a channel teaching people. And it always starts with Deuteronomy 28. You got the African spiritualists. It's a car. We done told the people about this. We done told the people he was a liar. We done told the people he's getting people to worship Bantu African spirits. What do the people do? Follow, Follow behind a liar. Mm -hmm. Now, what they got to say? Got them worshiping zombies. There's a brother doing some good work on that, on, on exposing him. <laughs> Calling on different African spirits. We done told the people when they start changing the name of the Rock Hakodesh to something else. Then he starts saying in Hebrew was not we're not even Hebrews. Hebrew is not even our language. Bantu is our language. But yet his name is Issachar. People don't think they're so simple. Bantu is in our language, but your name is Issachar, which is a Hebrew name. That makes sense. So then he makes t-shirts, I'm a Bantu, and all of this stuff for filthy Lucas. And now the people are up in arms when they were already warned. That's the reward that the people are getting. They lift up false prophets and lying teachers, and then they want to cry when they elevate these people for folly. Like it says, you got nice clothes, brother. Can you be our leader? For Jerusalem is ruined, and Yehuda is falling because their tongue and their doings are against Jehovah to provoke the eyes of his glory. Verse 9, the show of their countenance doth witness against them, and they declare their sin as sin. So now the Hindu Israelites, the only thing left for them is now homosexuality. Because they're worshiping hermaphrodite gods. They're worshiping hermaphrodite spirits. They're cultivating the masculine and the feminine energies in them and themselves. So what are they going to do to really cultivate that feminine side? And the law is done away with. The law is done away with, right? According to them. So what comes what, what comes next? Why swapping? Because once the men turn themselves over to this feminine energy, then they can't say nothing when their wives start going from man to man. You can't say nothing to me because Negro, you bend over. So because you bend over, then I got the right to do whatever I want to do. So she hops from bed to bed to bed and then the whole congregation is defiled. Go ahead. Verse 9. The show of their countenance doth witness against them, and they declare their sin as settled. They hide it not. Mm -hmm. That's Whoa. what's going to come. This Whoa. is what the scripture shows us. 
Woe unto their soul. For they have rewarded evil unto themselves. Say ye to the righteous that it shall be well with him, for they shall eat the fruit of their doings. Woe unto the wicked. Hallelujah. Say ye to the righteous what? Say to the righteous that it shall be, be well, well with him. him. Keep serving Yah. To the just, to the righteous, let him righteous. remain righteous. And the holy, let him be holy. holy still. The unjust, let him be unjust. Still. 22. Go ahead. Verse 11. Woe unto the wicked. It shall be ill with him. For the reward of his hand. As for my people. As for my people. Children. Oppressors and women rule over them. Simps and women rule over half of the other congregations. <laughs> One wife smacks her husband on the back of the head before they turn on the camera every Shabbat. And tell him, nigga, you better shut up. Now we're going to go live, and you better, sh you better shut your mouth. And he sit there. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma <laughs> Smack the back of that bald head. Pop! <laughs> and pull her stick back under the table. Oh, and <laughs> and y'all know what I'm talking about. Let's go. Cosign everything I said. Yes, dear. <laughs> <laughs> you better not have a single thought without running it past me. You understand? <laughs> Read it again. As for my people, children are their oppressors and women rule over them. Ooh. Oh, my people. They, they which lead thee, this is what brought us here to the beginning with. Oh, my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to err and, and destroy the ways of thy past. Oh, my people, oh, my people, they which lead thee, and you're choosing babes and unqualified and the base to lead you, cause thee to err, and cause you to err, and destroy the way and of destroy thy the past. Way the truth. Yahweh standeth up to plead and standeth to judge the people. Mm -hmm. Yahweh will enter into judgment with the ancients of his people and the princes thereof. For ye have eaten up the vineyard, the spoil of the poor is in your houses. Amen. Let's get some comments. I got a bunch of laughing emojis right now. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what Bantu language he is speaking. Here in South Africa, we have 11 official languages. Mm. So which one is he speaking wow. with the laughing emoji? And so the Israelites who are there know that they're Hebrews. <laughs> Just like the Israelites here know we're not going to say English is, is the chosen language. We know we're still Hebrew. So no matter where we are, whether we're in Africa, Europe, Asia, or here in the States, or wheresoever, we know our common language is what? Hebrew. Hebrew. Yet we're scattered throughout all the nations of the earth. But our nationality and our language is Hebrew. So as long as you have liars telling the people otherwise, you're stopping the true culture. That's all the comments? Yes. I can't, you know, I told you a whole list of emojis. That's it? Yes. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Brother Nigel says Hebrew. Okay. Hallelujah. We're back at the Acts of Peter. Chapter 33, 33 verse 13. I will call schisms to be among so the them. So the babes create schisms. Go ahead. And they shall attribute to Mashiach various natures. The vegetarian nation, now Messiah is a vegetarian. <laughs> Which the hearts of men cannot understand. Mm -hmm. And thereby will I make them to blaspheme against the Ruach HaKodesh. Now they change that. Now 
blasphemy. And blasphemy comes next. The whole Bible is a lie. Blasphemy. Even as I myself have blasphemed against him. Mm. This is Satan talking himself. This is the devil telling you what he would do to make the people fall away. And we are seeing it. Go ahead. 15. And I will go unto the recluses and the solitary monks. What happened there? Let's sleep up. Yeah, wait for me to sleep out. Okay. Verse 15. And I will go unto the recluses and solitary monks who live in caves and in desert places, and I will lead them. Isn't that right? where they said they found their gospel? Some monk cave? Wasn't that uh, how the founder of uh, Mormon got his yeah. thing from? And they said that uh, one of the gospel of the twelve or the night the the scene gospel was in some Hindu monk cave or something like that. Yep. Mm -hmm. it, it was never produced, though. They say that, but they never show. But look at this. No primary source. No primary source. And I will lead them astray by means of the vain dreams or visions which I will make them mm. to see. And I will make my soldiers to have dominion over them. Through by Alzebub, who shall lead them astray. Alzebub is a high priest um, demon. He's a high priest to the devil, to Satan. Go ahead. And they shall perform their desires, and like heathen priests, they shall make manifest unto men vain miracles. So the the miracles we talked about this before, that the true and the elect do. Is that they do miracles that give glory to Yah and they heal and they bring back to life and they save and they deliver from the power of, of demons, sickness, death, and the like. Vain miracles are things that just honor yourself. Look, I can fly. Look, I can change my hand to a serpent hand. I can I can shape shift. Those are things that doesn't honor Yah and it doesn't honor man. It doesn't even help man. What is that going to do to, okay, you can, you can fly, as we're going to see later on. How does that help anybody? It just brings honor to yourself where people say, oh, look at him. But when the apostles were transported, sometimes your host would transport them by the clouds, as you read in this book here. But it was to the event of to go to help minister and heal the sick to other people in different regions. Versus just, hey, look, I can do this. That's the difference between a godly miracle and a vain miracle. So you're going to see vain miracles in these last days. Know the difference between a vain miracle and a divine and holy heavenly miracle. That's important so you're not deceived when you start seeing signs and wonders actually start happening. It's around the corner. It's around the corner. Verse 19. And I will send my soldiers to the assemblies mm. so that they may strip from the mouths of the priests the spiritual prayer whereby they make supplication that the Ruach HaKodesh may descend upon the offering. They try to pervert the mouths of the, the teachers so that when they speak there's no power and then the Ruach HaKodesh won't come down. We're calling on y'all to come down on an to send an answer. Now these things don't happen. This is the devil's plan. Go ahead. And family, please thumbs up the video. Like it. Share it. We have over 200 people watching. We've got 70-something thumbs up. Let's get those thumbs up. Get those likes so the word can go out. Hallelujah. All right. Verse 20. And I will make them to possess the desire to have intercourse. Again. And I will make them to possess. Who's them? The messianic. The false teachers, the lying prophets. This is what comes next. So don't be surprised, as I said earlier, don't be soon shaken in mind or in Ruach when you see these things happen. Some of these elders are going to come out the closet. Don't be shaken when it happens. Because they're giving themselves over to these 
demons that are hermaphrodite spirits that's going to make them do hermaphrodite things. They're already talking about their male and female in one and so forth. They're already talking about these things, so they're going to cultivate that side of them. And then when they do, then the women are going to follow suit, and then they will be with whosoever they want to be with. Because the men won't have any moral ground to stand on anymore. So then the woman will rebel, and they're going to do as our will. The whole thing is do as our will. That shall be the whole of the demonic law. So when you start saying there's no more law, the Torah is irrelevant. And uh, uh, even more blasphemy, they say they blaspheme and say the Torah was written by Satan. <laughs> then do as thou will become the whole of the law. Why do I need to keep Shabbat? Y'all keep this out with it, man. Why I got, I'm not even keeping Shabbat anymore. I got money now. I don't need to keep Shabbat. You need to keep Shabbat because that's when you get people to gather to you to hear whatever you want to tell them so you can take money from them. But I'm getting money, so I don't, I don't need the Shabbat like that no more. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> you know? You know? <laughs> I don't need that. That's for you. So now they can't agree. So now they separate. So now y'all keep like you. He said, if someone show, what did he say? Finish the sentence. If somebody should. If somebody show that, that yeah, if someone prove him wrong, he ain't going to touch the Bible no more. Oh, yeah. Did he pick up a Bible sentence? Oh, yeah. He did? Yeah. Oh, he has? Yeah. They doing teacher lessons? Y'all keep? Yeah. Oh, get out of here. I heard they ain't doing them no more. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just seen videos the other day where he's denouncing scripture, denouncing that, he, that he's even an Israelite, that we even Israelites. We're all African. We're not Israelites. That's what I just saw the other day. I saw that with my two eyes and two ears. He said, we're not Israelites, we're African. Wow. And you can't prove you're an Israelite. We're African. Go ahead. Oh, we got any comments? Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Um, from Brother Nigel, he says, we are equating the Simon Magus and Kepa battle with the U.S. stock market that constantly keeps going higher until the most high brings it down. Right. Now, now, don't misunderstand me what I'm saying. Israel is in the continent called Africa. But Africa itself is a white man's name. Sicipio Africanus. So when you say you're African, you're naming yourself again after another Edomite. Sicipio Africanus. That's why we're not African. Not because Israel was not on the quote-unquote continent of Africa. That's not what I'm saying. I just want to clarify some things before people misunderstand what I'm saying. Let me, in fact, let me just look it up real quick to show people um, <clears throat> why we don't say we're African, not denying the continent and the land we come from, but we're denying the heathen name of Africa. I remember my father telling me this a long, long time ago. Scipio Africanus. Scipio Africanus. Can y'all see that? Mm -hmm. Scipio Africanus. He is this guy. <laughs> he's, he's what the continent of Africa is named after. Mm. Him. Okay. So if you say you're African, you're a child of his. You're one of his descendants. Mm. That's why I don't say I'm African and I don't say... Israelites are African, full well in being knowledgeable that the land called Africa, yes, 
That's where we descend from. So let's get a, a Okay, do they have anything on Wikipedia for him? I just want to touch on it. Okay. That's that's a whole that's worth a whole study. Yeah. Uh, I just want to show you. Let me uh, ready to go. So now you know if you didn't already. I, I assume most people already knew that, but maybe some not everyone does. Africa is named after him. That's why I don't say I'm African, though our people are in Africa, quote unquote. Okay, Israelites are all over in the land called Africa, but that is Africa, him. I think he was Roman, if I remember correctly. We have comments now? Yes, Sister Natasha says, yes, I saw a video where this effeminate voice of a man was trying to convince people that Yah made gays same-sex attracted to be the 144,000 virgins. Wow. Sister Itia says, Truth Unveiled 777 had a strange lesson that approves of homosexuality. Oh. Please send, send me a link, please. Oh, I, I, I mean, these are the things that why didn't all of Israel discern this stuff from the beginning? Like, do we have to say, like, do we literally have to say that? Is it not obvious? Is it not obvious? How could people sit under somebody like that and not discern this from the very beginning? Not, not to humiliate and y'all will deliver a lot of people from that lifestyle. But if you're in the truth and you still show signs of that, there's a problem. When you are converted, you are converted. When you're born again, you're born again. Old things are made new. So if you come in the truth and you bring that old man in, and that old man was in that lifestyle. How are you teaching? You got that monkey on your back, and then you're making videos you're not qualified to teach. Get that monkey off your back in your host's name, and then he can clean you up and use you to teach. But no, you want to teach with that monkey on your back. And Israel, as I said, loves babes and loves the base among our people and elevates them to leadership. And so Yah was against us before these things. So now you see chaos in Israel because that's who the people elevate. She texted me the video. She texted the video. Read some, some more of those comments, please. Um, Read that comment again. She said, the whole thing. Truth Unveiled 777 had a strange lesson that approves of homosexuality. I can't even watch that. So when you said some of these elders are going to come out, I thought of him. I'm glad you said that, sis. We discerned this from years and years ago. But Israel loves these types of things, just like Scripture says in Isaiah chapter 3. And so he may have a desire to do good, but you have to get that demon off of you first. Then, take the proper time to grow in the word, and then you could be used by the Most High, actually as someone who is healed from those things. But no, you mix the two together, and you become stubborn and arrogant, and you think that you're just qualified just because you have a platform, and you start putting on the priest breastplate and the FI like you're a teacher, and you have this demonic spirit of homosexuality, and these things are going to come out more and more in Israel. So be prepared that you're not shaking in mind or spirit when these things happen. And we're praying that Yah would deliver these people from these things. That's what we're doing, the whole breaking soul ties and emerging event uh, a week, uh, two weeks from now to help people get these things off of them. 
not to condemn them. Get it off of you so that you can be a true Hebrew indeed. Not bringing heresy and fornication into the truth along with you, then bringing along with you the people in the world who are wrestling with that spirit, who are trying to find Yah, and they say, oh, well, oh, this guy, can't nobody tell this guy, oh, well, shoot, man, I'll join that congregation. <laughs> oh, they let that, they let that go over there. Oh, okay. Oh, I see how this thing go. I see how this work. I get it. Okay, let, let me support that congregation. Oh, you do it too? Uh, shoot, I'll start me a channel. And then I'll reach out to him and I'll have him promote me. The next thing you know, they're going to baptize each other. And, they, and they're going to see each other and they start doing videos together and it's, and it's spread. And then there's two of them together and those who, are, who have that demon on them and they're trying to get it off, they say, or, or who are not trying to get it off. They're trying to mix the two together. They say, oh, wow, they let that over there. I'll go over there too. And then the women. Oh, they let that over there. And then you have the congregation of Laodicea. You think you're alive, but you're dead. So it's the, the point is not to condemn anybody like that, but to repent. Because as it says in the book of James chapter 3, be not many teachers, for those who teach have the greater judgment. It's not a game to play with. So people are putting themselves in positions of teacher, elder, leader, whatever title, and they are filled with demons. They have not been born again. They just have a platform. Having a platform and being called to teach are two separate things. It's not the same. If you have a platform, talk about what you want on your platform, but don't mix teaching into it. You're not a teacher. Because that's going to lead people astray. And then blood will be on your hands. Take the time to repent. Take the time to purge yourself of these things. Take the time to be delivered. Reach out to true elders in the nation who can minister to you, who can pray these things off of you. Then be transformed, be born again. Then maybe God will use you to teach with the right way, with the right message, with the right ruach. So what we're saying is not to belittle or to make fun of or to diminish anyone. But I'm glad that sis brought that out because I don't watch that guy. And haven't in years. I don't watch him. It's evident what he's dealing with. It's evident what he's wrestling with. He could go out and get himself a wife. He can go out and get himself ten wives and it's not going to change anything. In his soul, he still has that demon he's battling. So we need people to clean up in the Ruach. We're coming into the end times. You think y'all don't see these things, what these people are doing in dark? He said what's done in secret is going to be brought out, right? So he did a video like this. I got to see this. Told out for sharing. What else we got? Reacher University says, like Axel Foley said in Beverly Hills Cop, don't fall for the banana the tailpipe. Deception is getting thicker by the day. Mm. Sister Cristelia, she says, in reference to the name of the continent of Africa, this is true. I studied this and never understood why blacks in Africa chose choose to keep that surname. Yes. Um, Ron Lemons posted, just got word that the moray out in Fresno, California, had to be rushed to the hospital with COVID. Wow. Mm, 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 mm. We were already told Israel about that group. And what did Israel do? I mean, these people were thieves. I mean, they stole millions, literally, from the Christian church. Millions. We had the receipts, the court documents, the court records. What did Israel do? Right back to it. 
Judgments is happening all around us. Go ahead. Um, Brother Nigel says, even though we are on the African continent, mm -hmm. we were still brought here by slave ships. The only difference, we are still in the dark in who we really are. This is specific to the colored community. Mm -hmm. He has a second part to his comment. Um, oh, no, sorry, that wasn't him. So Yaakov 12 Yehuda says, if my so-called African-American wife and I moved to China and had a baby, would that make our child Chinese? Exactly. Where you dwell is in who you are. Exactly. This is why a lot of people think that we're African. So we have Israelites in Africa, but they're not African. That's what we're saying. Okay. Um, Retso Alvarez said that Truth and Bell 777 also had a follow-up video saying David and Jonathan was in love. Are you serious? I don't remember that. I must have, it must have, my ears must have just closed. <laughs> it said, no. Nope. My ears was like, nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. My eardrums was just like, nah, we ain't hearing that. Nah. So I probably heard it, probably went right over my head. The David and Jonathan lie. David in Samuel's chapter 1 said that Jonathan's love was greater than that of woman. Let's go to it. Man, there's so much to address. We didn't even finish this. Should we go through all that? I'll explain it then. In 1 Samuel, David laments the death of Saul and Jonathan. And in that, he says that Jonathan's love towards David was greater than that of woman. So, the gay community uses that to say that, see, Jonathan and David were lovers. They were homosexual. So, if Truth Unveiled is saying that, he is indeed, like what we're saying, he's dealing with. Because that's what the gay community uses to promote their agenda. To twist the scripture. Yehoshua HaMashiach, whose words are in red, in the book of John, maybe 15 or 16, says the greatest love that someone can give you is what? To lay down their life. Lay down life. To lay down your life for your spouse. For your friend. For your family. For your friend. For your friend. That's the greatest love that one could show. You're expected to lay down your life for your spouse. You're expected to lay down your life for your family. You're expected to do those things. That's why it says a greater love is to lay down your life for your friend. Because a friend is not even kin. It's your friend. So to lay down your life for your friend is actually a greater love than to love, lay down your life for your kin. Jonathan put his life up to protect David. And he stood up to Saul, his father, when Saul threw a spear at him. Jonathan spoke up for David. Saul took a, a spear and threw it at his son. He said, don't speak to me about David. That's why it said his love was greater than that of a woman. I haven't heard that video. I'm hearing from what our commenters and our brothers and sisters are saying, but I believe it, but I don't know for sure because it says two or three witnesses. So if we have two or three witnesses, then I could attest to it. But I believe it, though. Um, like 15 11 said, he, he sent both videos to you. <sighs> And Sister Natasha has sent it to me. Wow. And Sister Itzia, so people have been watching. What, 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 what our people need to start really asking is why weren't they able to discern that from the very beginning? Mm. As soon as I heard this guy, I said, this guy is clearly, he's still in that lifestyle or wrestling it or whatever. He is not clean. How is he now teaching Israel? Why are people promoting his videos? And now it will come out. 
And if I said these things before, then people would say I'm hating. So when we have we when y'all have called me to have to rebuke things, these things are not easy. And I don't enjoy going out to make videos to rebuke other elders and so forth. I don't enjoy that. So being that Yas used me in the past to rebuke certain other elders, like one I was just brought up who was rushed to the hospital today. If I talked about someone like Truth Unveiled too, they said, oh, you just, you just hate everybody. You just got a problem with everybody. And it's not that at all. And so sometimes you, I, you just have to sit and you have to allow things to take their course. And then when it, when it manifests, when y'all finally brings it full circle, the question is, why didn't the people discern these things to begin with? How could you sit under a person like this for years and not discern this? And if you did discern it, why were you okay sitting under someone like that? Then that means because your heart is not right. You have a measure of that inside of yourself. Therefore, you promote and support something like that because you have that measure in you and you're comfortable with that. You know, so we have to cleanse ourselves. This is why we're doing the soul tie uh, breaking and emergence to break people from these soul ties. Because again, we're not trying to condemn people wrestling in these unclean spirits. The thing is about healing the people, healing the nation by the word of Yehoshua, the name of Yehoshua and the blood of the Lamb. Let's finish this out and I guess we'll close out because this, this is, wow, man. 21, Acts of Peter, chapter 33, verse 21. And I will plant in their hearts the lust of Sodom, mm. so that they may perform it and may choose it rather than lawful intercourse with women. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. And this is talking about in the truth, y'all. This ain't talking about just in the Christian church or in any other. This is talking about in the truth amongst messianics. And especially shall their power spring from mine when they mingle tears with the wheat. Mm. For my commandment is to sow tears, and they shall perform it. And I will make them to cry out against the believers, and to slay them, and to pour out their blood, and to carry them away into captivity. And I will make their blood and their children, which are the children of the tares, to be acceptable offerings. And I will not delay in performing this thing. I swear. Now, Satan said all this, and then he swore on the name of Yehoshua to do it. The devil swore on the name of Yehoshua to do this. This is not a game. He hates Yehoshua, but knows that when you vow a vow to him, you must uphold it. Verse 26. I swear by the light wherein Yehoshua HaMashiach covered himself on Mount Tabor and on the Mount of Olives and in Galilee. And I swear by the might of thy Elohim, O Kepha, with whom I take counsel, and know ye that he is my king and my Elohim, and that when he was immersed in the river Yarden, it was he who removed me from my place of abode. And I swear unto thee, by the time when my Adonai and king received power over death and cast it into Tartarus, that is to say the depths of Sheol forever, and shut in his face the bolts and bra of brass and iron, that I will cause tribulation to come upon the messianics. Mm, 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 mm. The great falling away. And I will fight against them, and I will fight against them with all my power, and I will never let them alone until the advent of him that calleth himself Mashiach. And with him whom I shall choose and help, I will be in everything which he desired to do, and I will give him dominion over those who have believed through thee and through thy companions, the apostles. Hearken, O Kepha, for I will wipe all those who follow after Adonai, I will wipe out all those who follow after Adonai Mashiach, and I will destroy them on sea 
and on dry land. And know this, O Kepha, and understand well, that he, the anti-Mashiach, shall come and shall mingle temptation with the kingdom of Mashiach. That's what we're seeing in all of these people that we just mentioned. The one who is now promoting, if this be true, homosexuality in the truth, he's mixing temptation with the kingdom of Mashiach. The people who put Baal on their herbs, they're mixing temptation with Mashiach. The false prophet co-signing that, saying the Bible is, is, is the law is done away with, the laws are not valid. He's mixing temptation with the kingdom. And then proclaiming to be an, a Nazarene, but denying the Torah, you're mixing temptation with the kingdom of Mashiach. You're seeing the anti-Mashiach spirit at work. This is the great falling away. Verse 34, and he shall be at that time the means of ascent for the tares who shall come from the south, and the period of their days shall be according to the days of his appearance. And it came to pass that when I, Kepha, heard these words from Satan, I made the sign of the cross Hallelujah. over my face, and, and I, I rebuked him, saying, he who abased himself and took upon himself the flesh of man and appeared among men like one of themselves shall blot thee out, O Satan, and he shall not give thee dominion over his servants. Hallelujah. 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 And when I had said these words unto him, he fled from before me, and I saw that he became like a flame of fire, and I heard his voice saying, O son of the virgin, Thou son of the Father, thou word of light, thou strength of Adonai. From the days of times long past, whensoever thou didst wish, thou didst reveal thy power unto me. And having said these words, he hid himself from me. Hallelujah. Resist the devil. And he shall be. Draw nigh unto Elohim. He draw nigh unto you. Hallelujah. 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 The great falling away. Shabbat Shalom, family. We are so grateful that you have joined us for this Shabbat day. Family, we thank you. For those of you who have been with us, please remember, go hit that like, that thumbs up button on the video so that this message can get spread around the nation. Make sure you share it on your social media. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, screenshot it, post it, however you need to share it so that everyone can get this word and can begin to discern those who are following after Mashiach and those who are bringing false doctrine. Hallelujah. We want to remind you that you can continue to support and they can, con you can continue to support Kai Yeshua at our website www that kaiyeshua.com um, ties, uh, select ties and offerings, select the yellow donate button, and you may give your ties, your offerings, your alms, or however the most high may lead you, as well as through Cash App, dollar sign, Kaiyeshua, as well as through Zelle, Kaiyeshua at gmail.com. Also remember, after the Shabbat, to visit the Hebrew Israelite scriptures, but those of you who were asking about the book, The Lost Acts of the Holy Apostles, is where we just read, where you will learn what Satan actually said, what he will do as we just studied. Yes. So please, after the Shabbat, remember, no buying and selling on the Shabbat. Amen. Visit the website to make your purchase to add to your library. Amen. Were there any other comments that needed to be read, or was that all? Okay. Blessed be thy name, Most High Yah, and Yehoshua's name. We lift you up and glorify you. You are mighty to save. What stronghold is too mighty for you to break? Break the strongholds off of thy people. Break the strongholds off of the teachers of thy people, off of the elders of the people, off of the babes of the people, and everyone in between, O oh Heavenly Father. You are mightier than the strongholds. You can break them. You can set the captives free. Set free, Most High, those plagues with the spirit of fornication, filthy lucre, 
homosexuality, adultery, lying, deceiving. Break these spirits off of the people, O Heavenly Father, Yah. In your Yahushua's name, set them free. Let the true word go forth, Most High, that your name might be exalted on the earth. The world is falling apart, Most High, but the saints are becoming holier, Most High. Let those who are holy become more holy. Be holy still. And let those who are righteous be righteous yet still, Most High. Let us abide in spirit and in truth. Let us not fall away, Most High, and follow after the, those who have forsaken the truth and those who have abandoned their posts and have given up, Most High, the, the ghosts and given up the faith, given up the truth to seek after lives and that which is comfortable to the flesh. We know, oh, Heavenly Father, that we must endure through these seasons that you have a mighty and great reward for those who serve you, Most High, and those who love you with all their heart, all their soul, and all their might. We know that we shall inherit eternal life that the devil cannot have, that he is condemned, and his angels, they're condemned to the, to the lake of fire for eternity. But you have a reward in eternal life for those who grasp hold unto you, O Mosiah. Write us in the Lamb's book of life and blot out our sins and transgressions. In Yehoshua's name, name, write and seal these words in our heart. Bashem Yehoshua HaMashiach. Again, thank you, family, for joining us. May your most high bless and keep you. We love you. And may you enjoy the remainder of your Shabbat day and have a blessed week to come. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom.